Hello! This is the second video in my uh, build log, my video build log for the VR shoes. If you missed the first video, I'll leave a link for that in the description. And in that video, I talk about what the VR shoes are and how long I've been working at this and what the channel is just going to be about and this what the series is going to be about. But in this video, I'm going to explain my design for the VR shoes that I'm uh, currently using. I have used a bunch of different designs in the past, but this is the current one that I'm trying out now. So here it is. This is the shoe uh, as it stands right now. It's very bare bones. It's It only has the components that it needs. Stuff isn't covered up like it will be later on. So just keep that in mind. This is where your foot would go on this plate here. These uh, four things here are ball transfers, so they just have balls in them that spin freely in any direction. And then over on the side is where the motors and the powered wheels go. So these two things here are the motors, and you can see that I have some sprockets here that are going to be connected via a chain, and then these two things here are the wheels that spin. These are omnidirectional wheels, and in case you don't know what omnidirectional wheels are, they a lot of them look like this. You can see they look like regular wheels, except they have a bunch of little wheels along the uh, perimeter of the, of the wheel. So the advantage of these is that they can spin just like a regular wheel, so they can go in the forward and back direction. But then, th with these small wheels, they can also s they can also go left and right without creating a lot of resistance, and then they can also turn more easily too. And like I mentioned in the first video, I want these shoes to be capable of not only um, supporting walking forward and backwards, but also supporting walking at any angle. So if you want to strafe side to side, I want them to be able to support that too. And that's where these omnidirectional wheels come in. They are, um, I hope that they will work for this purpose. Okay, so I will just show how a drive works. It's pretty simple. I already pretty much explained it. So just uh, these two sprockets are connected by via a chain. And then when the motor runs, it turns the wheel this way or backwards this way. And with, and you, uh, you might notice that the, both of these uh, drive assemblies, they're in opposite directions. So when this motor turns, this wheel will spin this way, like forward and back. When this motor spins, this one will spin left and right. Or uh, well, yeah, will spin left and right. So the, the way it will work is when the user wants to go forward and back, it's just this wheel that will spin forward and back. And it'll, it'll, uh, if the user is going forward, then when the motor turns on, it'll bring the, the user back by spinning this wheel. If the user wants to go left and right, like in strafing, then this wheel will turn and bring them back. If they're going right, it'll bring them back left and so on. If they're going at, say, a 45 degree angle, then both of these wheels will work together to bring them back. The, I mean, to bring their foot back to the starting position. Okay. And then, yeah, that, that's pretty much the basics about how it works. Now, I tried something similar to this in a previous design, which I have open here, and it's it's similar in that the um, wheel, like the, the motorized, the power, is on the side of the foot. So your foot would go here, and then all um, the motor and the wheel are off to the side. And I actually built this thing, and I did not take any pictures or videos. It was um, quite a while ago. But the problem that I found with this design is that um, all your weight is right here. Your foot will be right here. All the weight 
is over on the side. But the, the wheel is over here trying to spin. So if you can imagine if you if you can imagine all my weight is right here and then this wheel turns right here, it started pivoting around my my foot. So it wouldn't go straight forward and back. It would start pivoting around. And that was the main problem with this design that I, it wasn't easy to overcome it. I tried turning this wheel here at an angle to try and counteract the, the, the pivoting, but it would create more friction and it just wouldn't work very well. And I didn't really think of, I, didn't, I couldn't really think of at the time a way to get around that. But with this design, I think it'll be able to handle that pivot motion because again, your foot will be here the weight um, will be over here, and if you go forward and back, there'll be a tendency for um, the shoe to actually pivot around instead of just going forward and back. But since these two motors, uh, there's two motors here, and they're independent, uh, the back one, as you're going forward and back, it will correct the pivot motion. So if you're try if it's trying to pivot your foot to the left, this thing will uh, this back wheel will turn a little bit to the right to counteract that okay that's the plan that's why i think that this design will work and the wh while this design did not work as intended and then this design is a is simpler too in other ways i'll go over those other ways when I actually talk about this design and what and, and how it works, but I will do that in, in another video. Lastly, now that you understand how the shoe moves forward and back or side to side, um, really any direction, you might be wondering, when, I, when you take a step forward, your foot comes up off the ground a lot, and you don't want to have to lift this, this whole thing off the ground. That would be really awkward and it, it, it'll be heavy. These, um, these motors and these wheels, they aren't particularly light. In fact, I, I already made one of the, one of the omnidirectional wheels. So again, it, you know, it, it turns like this, and then it, but it can go side to side. Um, this thing's kind of heavy. And having two of these plus the motors and everything else on the shoe would be really heavy. So, I have a plan for that, and I already tested that it worked. It was a, with this des, with this design. So this thing here, I call it a leg attachment. But basically, these straps here strap around. This one straps around your ankle. This one straps around your shoe. And then when you when you take a step forward, you you bring your foot up, and this will raise up. But you're still going to be connected to the shoe. Um, I don't know why these things are coming up, but you will still be connected to the shoe. And you so uh, w with this with this contraption here, you can still be connected to the shoe, but still lift your foot up. And then you can see here you can rotate, uh, you can pivot your 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 foot a bit here too. So you can still have your natural walking motion where you can lift your foot up, but this whole thing will stay on, uh, the shoe will stay on the ground and it'll just come along for the ride. And I did test this out when I made this thing and it did work pretty well. I might try and, and put something in the front to, to keep this more stable. And I'm gonna definitely try and make the, this, these straps a lot better. I want it to be more like a, a snowboard binding, much more, you know, much more secure and and strapped to the foot than this, but this was just my, my very quick test. The, these were just some Velcro straps that I, I bought from a store just to test it out really quick, and I was happy with the result. Okay. So just imagine having, I, I, having that contraption on here. That's how I will handle that. I, ha I didn't put that on here yet because I'm just, I'm just going to test out if it works going forward and back and left to right if it if it can support the weight if the pivot problem isn't there anymore if it can truly go in any direction without a whole lot of resistance 
just I'm gonna test all of that stuff first to make sure that this design can hold up then I'll add the additional things like that like the leg attachment so you can actually lift your foot up while while staying attached to the um, to to all this okay and I think that's really it for the for going over the design or for this design at least in the coming weeks I'm going to build this thing and like I mentioned I already built one omnidirectional wheel I'll build another and I'll um, either 3d print or CNC all of these components and put them together and then test them out and we'll see how it works so thank you for uh, if you watched the video this far thank you for watching if you have any comments or suggestions or constructive criticism let me know in the comments below if you like this and you want to stay up to date you can subscribe and if you want to like the video if you like this if you, um, do that and that's it until next time thank you